How are you, Kenny? Good to see you again, man. Hey, good to see you, Eli. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now, you've worked with some major rock bands like Train and 30 Seconds to Mars. Mm -hmm. And you've also worked with greats like Stevie Wonder, who requires a lot of different playing styles from his musicians. Yes, he does. Right? Today we are talking about alternate sound sources. This is one of my favorite sources of creativity both as a player and as a tech for my players because it allows you to turn a simple drum and a set of cymbals into an unlimited source of sounds and creativity. All right, so what I got set up here for us today is a nylon pair of brushes, two types of a steel brush, a broomstick, which is made out of natural broom corn, yeah, and, and of and, course the rods. And this is a this is a Promark exclusive too, isn't it? This is Promark is the only company who manufactures these uh, broomsticks, and Promark is the originator of the rod implement. So yeah. that's pretty cool. It is very cool. Well, let's talk about these brushes first. Let's talk about cool. the steel and the nylon, and the differences between the two. Okay. So we got a traditional. This is a TB5. This is a traditional medium gauge steel wire brush, and then we have the B400, which is a medium gauge nylon brush. So let's hear a little bit of that. Yeah, that's like a warmer brush. This is like your traditional bright sound. Right. This is a warmer sound, which is, you know, kind of ironic because a lot of my drummers that I work with, when they go into a rock-oriented or a pop-oriented brush playing situation, they'll use this for their cymbal play mm. and they'll use this for the snare drum because it's warmer. It gives you more of a fat backbeat and allows them to integrate both brushes and right. really apply to an acoustic situation well. You want them to still drive the band, but you need the sounds to match the situation. Love it. All right. Now here are some of my favorites. These steel <laughs> brushes in Texas go down because they got this oak handle right here. Right. Now there's two things you gotta have when you're playing country music in Texas. One, a fiddle. Two, a rim click. <laughs> That's Play true. me a little rim click shuffle, my brother. Okay. Let's see what we got. That's huge, man. That oak handle is popping. It really makes a difference, because it'll, it'll cut through the band, give you that backbeat, right. but you still got that smooth, shuffling brush. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, man. Now over here we have the broomstick, and this is part of my heart, because I use these on a cajon gig every night for a year in Austin, Texas. All I had was a cajon, a tambourine, and a cymbal, yep. a brush, and a broomstick. Not only can you play the cajon with both, both the broomsticks like this, Get that warm, fat sound. Yeah. It's a little brushy, a little sticky, almost a little hot roddy, but none of any of those. It's just a warm witch. You know, these are interesting. These are made of natural broom corn. It's a natural product. We have them in three sizes. So if you want to get a little more output volume, you go with the large or a little less, you go with the small. And yeah. there's a medium in between. And the beautiful thing is if you go with one of these, and you go with one of these, you could turn your cajon into a drum set by using this for your bass kicker. This for your snare kicker, and 16ths rolling on both sides. Sweet. Let me show you. And of course, right here we've got the classic hot rod, the game changer from, from unplugged MTV gigs, and on this thing changed the That's game. right. And uh, I don't know a drummer I've worked for who doesn't have these in their stick bag. It's true. So Promark is the originator of these hot rods. These are an excellent implement. Uh, when sticks are too loud and brushes are too soft, rods yeah. will do the trick. Again, unlimited source of creativity. We could play this whole shop all day long, couldn't we, with true. these guys?